Safety in your laboratory is our primary concern. This biosafety orientation video will give you an overview on the basic biosafety principles when dealing with biological, chemical, or physical hazards. The use of safety equipment, the importance of signages and their meanings, and emergency procedures on biological spills and exposure to biohazardous materials. It is generally recommended that what is used inside the laboratory such as pens, ball pens, scissors, and laboratory notebooks among others stay in the laboratory. Lab coats must not be worn outside the laboratory room, not in the canteen, or the library, or anywhere outside the laboratory. Plants or plant materials, animals, microorganisms, and other biological specimens are returned to their designated containers or areas after use. Biological hazards should be rendered harmless before disposal. Chemicals should not be thrown into the sink. These are placed in the designated containers with appropriate levels to prevent explosions, fire, or spills. Masks and gloves are disposed of in appropriately labeled containers inside the laboratory. When you need to bring your laboratory coat home for washing, you may wrap the soiled lab coat in a sealed plastic bag and wash this separately from the regular laundry. When there are spills, inform the instructors or lab assistants for them to provide you the spill kit. Follow the instructions on how to use the spill kit. In UP Manila, there are more than 100 laboratories. Some of them are for chemistry, for biology, or the clinical laboratories at the PGH. Microbiology courses are held in specially classified laboratories. According to the type of organisms being manipulated, the facilities and equipment available. In all these laboratories, standard microbiological practices are followed. For example, hand washing before and after working in the laboratory. BSL-1, the Biosafety Level 1, laboratory. This level is suitable for work involving well-characterized microbiological agents that are not known to cause disease in healthy humans and animals. This may be pathogens of plants or soil organisms. The laboratory has a working table and a sink for hand washing. Gloves and laboratory gowns must be worn at all times in this lab. This is the common teaching lab for general microbiology course. The multidisciplinary lab of the College of Medicine is an example. Biosafety Level 2 this level is similar to Biosafety Level 1 and is suitable for work involving agents of moderate potential hazard to students, personnel, and the environment. Access to the lab is restricted. The autoclave is used to sterilize contaminated materials in the lab. Other than gloves and gowns, goggles and face masks or shield are worn. A Biosafety Cabinet is used when aerosols and splashes are expected. Research laboratories such as the Institute of Molecular Biology and Biotechnology at UP National Institutes of Health is an example of a BSL-2 lab. BSL-3, Biosafety Level 3, this level is applicable to facilities which work with indigenous or exotic agents which may cause serious or potentially lethal disease as a result of exposure by inhalation. Increased medical surveillance and immunization for workers are done. This facility has negative air pressure and higher security level of control. Workers wear respirators in addition to common protective equipment. The only certified BSL-3 in the Philippines is found in RITM, the Research Institute for Tropical Medicine. BSL-4, Biosafety Level 4. This facility handles microorganisms that are dangerous and exotic, which pose a high individual risk of aerosol-transmitted laboratory infection and is life-threatening. Change of clothes, showering, and decontaminating all materials before exiting are enforced. 
All work must be performed within a class two biosafety cavity and or a full body air supply positive pressure suit.